Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we already know that the first order of this MK1 which includes 36 single seater is near completion, HL is now steadily progressing towards the development of two advanced fighter aircraft which includes this MK1A and this MK2. As per the HL's chief R. Madhavan, the PSU expects to deliver all light combat aircraft in final operational clearance or FOC variant to the Indian Air Force in 2022, while LCA MK1 with specific enhancements will take flight by mid of this year. By June this year, HL expects to start flying the LCA MK1A configuration. Once flying starts, it will take another 20 to 24 months of testing and once testing is done, HL will commence the deliveries of the fighter jets. As per the contractual obligation, HL has to begin the deliveries of Tejas MK-1A from February 2024 onwards. The first three Tejas MK-1A fighters are expected to be rolled out in 2024 followed by 16 fighter jets every year for subsequent five years completing the order of 83 Tejas MK-1A inked during Aero India 2021. The aircraft will come with several enhancements from its previous variant. It will be equipped with AES radar, external self-protection jammer pods, advanced beyond visual range missiles and digital radar warning receivers and a network warfare system comprising software-defined radio among others. It will have 8 external hardpoints to carry munitions with 3 under both the wings, one on the center fuselage and one under the air intake on the port side. The aircraft can be equipped with air-to-air, -air, air air-to-ground and anti-ship missiles. It can also employ precision guided munitions, rockets and bombs. The hard points have a scope of carrying training pod, electronic warfare, targeting, surveillance or reconnaissance. Talking about this MK2 which will be much bigger fighter it has commenced the manufacturing activity as the design has been frozen. As per HAL's chief, the fighter jet will be rolled out by this year end or early 2023. One year after that, this MK2 will be taken to the skies. By 2024, it will be flying. Recently, it has been reported that the flight control software for this MK2 program has been developed and its testing and validation will commence soon. From 62% indigenization in this MK1A, the plan is to touch 70% mark of indigenization for this MK2. The LCA MK2 will feature enhanced range and endurance, including onboard oxygen generation system, which is being integrated for the first time. Heavy standoff weapons of the class of Scalp, Crystal Maze, and Spice 2000 will also be integrated with MK2. The MK2 will be a heavier and much more capable aircraft than current LC MK1 and MK1A variants. The aircraft will be 1350 mm longer featuring canards and can carry a payload of 6500 kg compared to 3500 kg by LCA powered by G414 IN S6 engine which has a maximum thrust output of 98 kN. The MK2 will feature indigenous integrated life support system, onboard oxygen generation system, aircraft health and usage monitoring system to integrate with various sensors on board and a built-in integrated electro-optic electronic warfare suite among the other improvements to avionics. It will have an infrared search and track system and a missile approach warning system too. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.